Welcome to the Food 52 Test Kitchen. My name is Josh, I'm the Test Kitchen Director here. Today we're gonna to talk about classic giblet gravy. I was looking around on the internet at different giblet gravy recipes. I started to get upset because all giblets are not the same. Yet these recipes treat them as if they're the same. Cook everything for 40 minutes, cook everything for 60 minutes, no. We're gonna try something different today. I'm gonna to explain to you what each of these giblets are, and we're gonna treat them differently and see if that makes a more delicious gravy. This is a turkey neck. The neck is something that should get cooked for a long time, a couple hours, and it makes really good stock too. The liver should be cooked quickly. What I'm surprised at in most classic giblet gravy recipes is that the liver gets cooked for 40, 50, 60 minutes. So today we're gonna to try a version where the liver only gets cooked for three minutes. Uh, this is the heart. It's another quick cooking item. The heart is almost like a, a more tender piece of steak. You just cook it quickly and it should be done. The gizzard is delicious, but it's sort of like the neck. It needs to get cooked for hours and hours and it's gonna get tender over time. This is the roasting pan from the turkey that had no brine. So that means all these drippings are not too salty. They just taste like nice, deep, roasty turkey essence. These are the drippings from the roasted turkey. There's a layer of fat and there's a layer of nice, like straight turkey juice, basically. If you have a fat separator, it's really nice. You can get rid of the excess fat and this, this darker color here, add it directly to your gravy. It adds even more delicious flavor. I'm gonna give about two tablespoons of fat here. I'm gonna eyeball it. And I give about two tablespoons of flour to him and eyeball that. And now, while I mix them together, I'm gonna be scraping up all those nice brown caramelized bits. It's gonna add so much flavor to the gravy. You might be asking yourself like, hey, I thought we were, this was gonna be a giblet gravy. Where are the giblets? I make the gravy first and then the giblets are all chopped up and they get added in at the end. So I add my stock a little bit at a time. It's first gonna form sort of a paste and then that paste is gonna thin out and turn into gravy. The reason that we don't add the stock all at once is because that can lead to a lumpy gravy. I'm gonna transfer the gravy I have from the roasting pan into a pot. I think it's just easier to work with that way. It also gives you a chance to strain out any little clumpy bits if they happen to form while you were working in the, in the roasting pan. We used turkey fat from the roasted turkey instead of butter, and all those caramelized bits at the bottom of the pan those are now pretty much incorporated in the gravy. It's gonna have so much flavor. These are the giblets. They've been cooked. They've been uh, simmered gently in stock. One batch of giblets, we treated them all the same. The neck, the heart, the gizzard, and the liver all were cooked together for an hour. You can see the liver is sort of gray and crumbly. Uh, the heart has like a little bit of a rubbery quality, I would say. Here, the neck meat and the gizzard were cooked separately for longer even, for like two hours, while the heart and the liver were barely cooked, just for three minutes each. You see the liver is sort of, has a little bit of pinkness to it. It looks really fresh compared to this dry, crumbly liver here. And the heart also is a little bit pink and fresh compared to the heart here, which has been cooked for 50 minutes. Traditional giblet gravy, you make the gravy from the pan drippings and you add a little bit of the chopped giblets into your gravy. I'm gonna separate this into two gravies, basically. One gravy is gonna have the cooked giblets that were all cooked together. The other gravy is gonna have the giblets that were differentiated. This is gravy number one with the giblets added in. These giblets were all cooked together for one hour. This is your traditional giblet gravy, it looks good. I'm not even gonna taste it with the turkey, I'm gonna just taste the gravy with the giblets in it because that'll give me a real sense of all those little pieces in there working together, how it tastes. It's nice. It's like an irony flavor from the liver, which I like personally. I taste the gizzard. I like the texture on that. It's good flavor. This is the chef -y version where the liver and the heart were only cooked for a few minutes each. I like the color on it that it's not all just purely gray. Mm. You know what? At the end of the day, I don't think there's too much difference. I do think the liver flavor in the differentiated gravy, texturally, I think it's a little smoother. Flavor-wise, I think it's actually a little more mellow, where the longer cooked one has a stronger kind of iron flavor to it. 
I thought it would be an interesting test to cook the heart and the liver for less amount of time than the other giblets. Turns out it doesn't make all that big of a difference. That's what you get when you try and mess with tradition. But uh, both gravies taste delicious. This is your traditional pan gravy with giblets.